When you drive a car, Mr. Navaris, and if it has to be fixed, the person who is driving it pays for it. That's what happens, because you were driving the car. So where was now, he within now, this time? this is, do you have parents? I have one. You don't want them to look with 10 million other people at you when this case is aired, and for you to look ridiculous, right? I'm already looking ridiculous being here, uh, no. ma'am. Well, listen, nobody forced you to, we didn't bring a sheriff with <laughs> a gun to your house and say to you, you have to come and adjudicate your case before her. You came voluntarily. And the reason you came voluntarily is because now that I look at it, the car is in both your names and you're listed as a lien holder, which is really very smart. Since you didn't put any money down on the car, no, why that's... in the world would you be listed as a lien holder? I Swifty. bought the car with my own money, Swifty. Your Honor. Well, After explain, she bought it, explain, she was paid back. Just a second. Well, that's what I want you to tell me. Now we're getting to the second part. The car is bought in April 18th. You break up in July. When did you pay her back? She was getting money throughout that whole time. I've paid no, no, over no. $2,000 worth of her kids alone. I took care of her children, too, not only her. What? Listen. Yeah, and they're not even my children, Your Honor. Mr. Navarez, I want you to listen to me. <laughs> that's the funny thing, hey, right? I want you to listen to me. What you are suggesting to me is when the two of you were together, living together, sharing a bed together, and you nothing. were, well, you slept on the floor? I, I mean, bought the bed we slept on. I don't care. I bought everything, Your Honor. I don't She's care. She's a gold digger. Listen to me. I don't care if you bought the bed, sir. And her little sidekick, too. But listen, you look like an idiot. I know I do. I don't know what I know you I do look, being here. No, no. You look, I'm how, telling you. I'm, I'm telling you. The way you're behaving right now. Because I'm about makes to get my tar look, car took by a, may, a goat. Sir, this is the scenario you want me to buy. I want you to pay attention. Use your two ears to listen. You were together for a relatively brief period of time. You have no children together. She has children. You fell smitten with her. And then you took care of her and her children. At an I, agreement. Just a second. You took care of her and her children because you wanted to. No, Your Honor, it was an agreement. It was part of a had. mutual a agreement. Second. It was spoken. It was a verbal Just agreement. Just a second. I can get stand out. up and Just tell you. Just a second. Get out. Get you out. You want me to get out? Because I will. Now. Just right go, now. Carlos. I don't want to sit right here anyways. Right now. You don't Perfect. have the right questions. Shh. Perfect. It's all good. It's okay. Very good. Your Honor, there was... Shh. Now... Are you telling me that you had an agreement with her, Mr. Navarez, so that you took care of the bills at home and Everything. she was going... Hey, let me finish! Okay. So that you took care of the bills at home and she said, I will spend $2,100 for a car that will be yours. Is that what you want me to believe? Your Honor, if you let me say my story, I would be able to tell you and you'd be able to understand more because I'm not able to tell you everything that I'm trying to tell you. We had an agreement. You know, my whole family knows. Yep. She was living with my mother, not paying rent, not doing anything, Your Honor. In my house. Just a second. She was, okay. and my mother was listen, paying the rent. Out. So whatever, out. who listen is she? Me. Is, I don't listen know why she's me. even here, Your Honor. Shh. Out. She's a mooch. Out. Did you hear what I just said? Oh, sorry. Out. Mooch. You say, listen to me, you say one more word. I'm going to give her exactly what she wants. You know what that's going to be? I'm going to notify motor vehicles to take your name off as a lien holder and to take your name off as a co-owner. Do you understand me? 